I'm going to show you how to turn this into something like this. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? Still nice. Check it out. So instead of having my ball screw rotate, I want the ball nut to rotate. And this is an SFU 2505. And I've got done already making this right here. And pretty much there's going to be a bearing that sits here. Then uh, a set of gear teeth and a bearing on the end with a threaded shaft. And then the NEMA 34 is going to rotate this on the ball screw itself while the ball screw stays stationary. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on a lathe and uh, let's go ahead. We gotta chop this one down right here and let's start cutting. All right guys, so we're gonna have to cut this uh, bar stock down. It's 70 millimeters in diameter. It's uh, the steel is S235 or SJ235. I really don't remember anymore, but uh, we're gonna need 100 millimeters of this or 10 centimeters. Roughly, we can cut it down, yeah, about here. Let's go to the band saw and chop it up. So we're just gonna slap this bad boy in here, like that. It doesn't gotta be 100%, 100, at 100 uh, centimeters just because, or sorry, 10 centimeters just because we're gonna be turning it anyway. You just wanna make sure that your stuff is tight. All right, let's commence cutting. All right, so now that we got this piece cut, it's time to put on a lathe, lathe and bore out the center first. Never turn it down without boring first because if you put a flange on and you forget to bore the center out, and you have the flange part sticking on the outside, that thing is going to fly off. So make sure you bore first before you put anything on the outside. Let's get to it. All right, so now we're just going to rotate it and see how even it is. We're just going to take some of this... Uh, All right, you can see it's jumping all over the place. So what we're going to need is a hammer. And we're going to take the highest spot we see, which is here, and just tap it. All right, so next up, we're gonna move this out the way to carriage. We're gonna bring up this bad boy. And then we're going to put a pilot hole inside. Push right up into that.
All right, time to open the big boy up. This is a 16 millimeter by 178 millimeters long. That is plenty enough to go through a 100 millimeter stock. After we got the bore to 16, we now need to move this puppy. We need to take this off here and put our, our boring bore on. And pretty much we can only go All right, people, so we're coming to the final dimension of 40 millimeters inner diameter. What we're going to do right now is just move the carriage out the way. Do some measurement calculations. Looks like 37.3 millimeters. All right, so 40 millimeters internal diameter minus... 37.3, I think I said. Two and a half more millimeters to go. So what we're going to do now is set up the dial indicator on here. And we'll creep up on the 40. If you guys are wondering why I have to push in my carriage, right about there, that there's two teeth that are broken on the uh, modular uh, rail down here. So I have to get a new one. So what we'll do is we'll clean off this here. Drop this down. Tighten it back up. Gotta see where I'm at. All right, so I'm gonna advance my zero. Turn it on. That's it. A little bit more. All right, here's the SFU 2505 uh, ball nut. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out, mark the holes, we're gonna drill it. This will be our flange side. We're gonna flip it over and start turning this puppy down. All right, so I got a, a punch here. Make these a little bit more noticeable so that the drill bit don't wander. All right, so this other side of the pipe is done. This fits in here so smooth. All right, so next, time to turn this down.
One more millimeter. I'm gonna dial this in, close this off, zero this out. All right, so the last step is to uh, put some threads in this baby. All right, guys, it's Dom with Still Nice CNC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video series because I definitely enjoyed making these uh, Driven Nut System. They are a wonderful project to have, especially when your uh, CNC machine that I'm building is 2.5 meters long. I don't want screw whip, so I opted for a drive nut system or drive, yeah, drive nut system. I've been in the workshop this morning since 7.30. And it's now 23.30 at night. And uh, I had a blast creating this. It just took too damn long. But it's fine. There's there's things I could mitigate, like getting a bigger uh, drill bit to get to the closest to the size I need for the OD or the in, I, inner diameter to ID, sorry. And uh, instead of just keep uh, using a uh, uh, internal, uh, damn, I can't even think anymore, internal um, lathe tool. So that being said, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Throw me a like or two. And uh, we got this uh, threading coming up. I don't know if I already said that. I have to thread this. We have to make a nut for this. And then we're going to build a box for this to put the NEMA 34s for this onto the machine. So stay tuned. That will be the next video coming up. Dumb out.